Hello everybody, I'm SJM and welcome back to episode 5 of our Blade Blast in Blade Fall Inquisitor. Um, so I ended up playing uh, this afternoon with one of my friends for all of Act 4. So I kind of did that on, on Twitch but off of uh, not recording for YouTube just because we we're uh, playing together. But I'll just go over quickly... Act 4, in a nutshell, it is pretty straightforward. As you can see there, there's really not a whole lot to it. So you start in the aqueduct, make your way to the town. Uh, then you pop down to the dried lake, grab Deshrut's banner. And uh, then you go into the mines. And from the mines, you make your way down to um, the Crystal Veins, where Piety, or where Dahlia waits for you, and then... Uh, there she opens up two portals. You go to Calm's Dream and kill Calm. And then you have to go to Duresso's Dream and kill Duresso. And then you give those two pieces to the... Um, to Dahlia. And then she opens up the Black Core. You go in there, you'll fight Piety there. And then you go down and fight Malachi in the Harvest. Um, it's just pretty straightforward stuff. I did manage to get... Um, A couple of upgrades? No, what did I get? Oh yes, the Unleash Support. So after you uh, give, after you defeat Calm and Duresso, then you get access to Unleash, which is the biggest upgrade that you'll get to um, damage in this build because that support skill will make us, each time we try, we cast our Blade Fall, we get three casts of it. Not each time, but um, it takes, you know, 0.87 times 3 to gain 3 casts of it. It does deal less damage, but we're not necessarily doing a lot of our damage with the Blade Fall itself, because it's the damage comes when we hit the Blade Blast and explode all those knives that are sitting down there on the ground. Um, oh yeah, I got these boots, I guess, in Act 4, so got up to got the 20% movement speed boots with... Not a whole lot of life, but some life. Lightning and uh, movements and uh, cold resistance is on there. So resistances are pretty good for now, but definitely once we get um, past Act 5, then those will go down by 30%. So we'll need to fix those at that time or just keep working on them as we go. Um, it, this ring here I got as an upgrade. Um, this one will be a backup to help get us more um, resistances but this one had a whole lot more life so I just have that one on now because my resist resists are good uh, so for the video today we'll go through a little bit of act five with you guys or act four here um, it is no this is act five so yes so this act is again pretty much straightforward there's a little bit of twists and turns in it but nothing too um, spectacular or confusing oh also we did find a vol righteous fire so this is kind of one of the things that we use during boss fights or tough fights to get us a boost of extra damage we just have to be careful because it does a whack of damage to us uh, first before it actually grants us the boost Down here, we're looking to get uh, the Miasmeter for Valencia. Which is over here. It's pretty funny there. Each time you get this guy up to six things and he gets cocky again, but uh, once you start doing a, like doing a whole bunch of wins in a row, he shuts up right quick and he's like, just like, oh, not you again. 
So these are getting a little bit intense there. I did die um, in Act 4 with two of us running on these things. It kind of doubles on the... Um, on the um, danger of it, because I think we get each of those applied to each of your person, but it's also a little bit easier to, to finish because you have two of you working on it, right? Okay, so I've got a bit of damage coming in there, so... Storm collar, cold, restless ground. Orbs of bindings, yay! Getting, finally getting, finding some of those as drops, eh? Raging dead going on here. And another stacked deck, so. We get another. Ah, we're up to seven now. Okay, interesting. Oh, I'll get eager. I'll get eager all over you, Mr. Mister. Ooh, five links starting to show up now. So I'm doing my best to only stop for those uh, ultimatums because otherwise, you know, we're not, you don't get much in the way of drops from anything outside of the ultimatum, so. I mean, obviously if we really wanted to farm it, there would be some drops, but I just don't see a huge need to, right? Got any of those eyes? don't need to go back just yet so we'll make our way through Oriath here
there's the ultimatum. Oh, and we got some more sulfite, so we'll just uh Yeah, definitely get rid of these guys before we start the fight. It's totally rude of them to interrupt on our fight, right? Keep getting everything like cold, not everything, but just so many things cold related. ability there somewhere. Not even worth trying to pick that thing up. Just grab this last bit of sulfite there. And into the Templar courts. back to town here quickly and grab our rewards or a reward oh no we get two rewards right so we get one for Valencia now. Thank you. and a life flask energy shield and I need another blue yeah you can wait on that on those belts shame shame for freedom and just tossing that in there for now uh, later I'll, when I get a few things I go through my essences and I start throwing them on there and seeing if I end up with anything good just as a self-craft option, so 
But I should be looking for five links at this point, because that'll be the next big upgrade that we're going for. All right, back to the Templar courts. We're making our way up to the Innocence fight, so... Now that you've seen kind of where I'm at for now, I'm just going to throw this on a quick pause while we make our way through this zone and, uh, and I'll bring you back for the boss fight. So I forgot to bring the YouTubers back for the uh, boss fight, but... I knew there was something I was thinking. Hey, I'm missing out on doing something here. But yeah, it went without too much ado, but I did die another time on one of the um, you and only ultimatums, but then I did pass an ultimatum, so kind of one and one for, well, yeah, one and one so far in the video for the for the ultimatums don't need another herald of purity so just head out this way what in damnation have you let's talk to bannon here and we'll just head back to town quickly. You deserve recognition. And none of these make any difference. Once Kitava has gobbled up every scrap. So yeah, when I hit 50, I've got all of my flasks lined up to upgrade now anyways. Oh well, yeah, what's Bannon got to say here? Anything? No, nothing for me. So then we just head back here. So we made our way here, and then we've got to wait, make our way manually back to there, and then go up on the rooftop to fight Katava. So... That'll be what I'm doing in the meantime. We'll throw it on a pause and uh, come back when we get to Katava. And yeah, just finished the Katava fight and realized I hadn't started again for the YouTube people. And then also realized that I had done all of Act 5 without even starting it for the stream. So, rookie mistakes there. I need to be... Uh, Get my priorities in order. Remember, this ain't no charity. But yeah, the the fight is on uh, on Twitch, so you'll be able to see it over there. It went pretty smoothly, nothing too special. Um, first time I've ever insta phased a heart phase where I had I just put two blade falls down right on top of the heart, and uh, yeah. He's like, didn't even spawn any dudes out of the heart. They just, like, you know, blasted it and then he picked it back up again. So here we are back to the Twilight Strand. Start it all over again. wait and do the challenge after I complete the entire beach here because I don't like people 
interrupting me when I'm concentrating on something. chance those guys well not chance but essence them and see if we get anything good out of it Your luck will run out soon, challenger. wah wah stop crying mr chaos Oh boy. Uh, taking reward. <laughs> taking reward when I'm on 69 life. Nice. Alright, let's hope for some nice gloves. Evasion rating. Can add to our evasion rating there. Yeah, weeping doesn't work that way, so whatever. Still saw up this crap. And then Welcome. anything decent? Not link-wise, but... Farewell. Just wait, I guess. Actually, we need to now look at this. So where's... We're way down on fire. So thankfully that'll bump our fire up. Lightning? No lightning on this one. Fire, lightning, cold, lightning. So does this one do us any better? Gets us a little bit more even, I guess. 1538 or 1585. So there's not much difference there. Let's even ourselves out a little bit, hey? See if that works. Oh, and that's garbage now, so that can be sold. And take a trip over to the Rogue Harbor just to get this kind of quest line kind of started and underway. Welcome, exile. 
can just talk to everybody in here one time. Give me a haste? No. Gotta talk to her a second time to get a heist. Alright, there we go. got in this one. So we actually missed no chests in there. That's pretty good. I right, got a chaos out of, well, two chaos out of that. That's really good, actually. Just gonna run on out of here. No need to stop for anybody else. We're still breathing, Rook. And that's how you we do the heist. Back to here, and then the last thing to do is to take what we stole and sell it back to there, and then we get some net rogues markers out of it all. 
So that's everything I was going to cover in this episode. Hope you enjoyed. Thumbs up if you did. Sorry that I uh, missed uh, capturing the Catawba fight for you guys, but uh, it is what it is. If you want to see more of my content on the uh, Intermediate Exile series, most of it is recorded on Twitch, so I'll point you over that way to see where my VODs are so that you can pick it up over there. I appreciate you all, and we will see you in the next one.